Hey everybody. So we already talked about arithmetic um, sequence and series. Uh, we talked about the formulas they gave you and everything. But now we're going into geometric. And with geometric sequence and series, there are different formulas. But really the stuff is about the same. AN is going to be the exact same thing as before. A1 is the same thing. But now we're throwing in, and instead of a, a common difference, you have a common ratio, which is R. So we're going to throw that in there. Before again, before we actually go into it, here's the actual formula sheet that you will get for the final exam. And again, the formulas are given to you right here for a geometric sequence and series. Now the only thing is, whenever we start dealing with all of it together, arithmetic sequence and series and geometric sequence and series, you have to figure out which formula is the best, is the correct one for that one. You have to figure out which, if it's arithmetic that you're dealing with or if it's geometric that you're dealing with. And then go from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and look at these. But again, the formulas are given to you here. All the stuff that we're going to be dealing with with arithmetic sequence and series and all that good stuff is here. So it should be good for you. So you should be able to do well on the final exam on this part. All right, so let's go and take a look at geometric sequence and series. So let's start off with some vocabulary. And there's a bunch right there. So Here's the first word, geometric sequence. If a geometric sequence, it's going to be a series of numbers or terms that differ by a common ratio. A series of numbers or terms that differ by a common ratio. Now, the biggest part here again, those key words, is differ by ratios. And I think I said common ratio there when I was reading it, but it's not common ratio, it's by ratios. So, again, it is a series of numbers or terms that differ by ratios. Now, when it comes to that, in order for it to be a geometric sequence, it has to have a common ratio to go from the first term to the second term, from the second term to the third term, from the third term to the fourth term, so on and so forth. It has to be the same number that you're, getting, you're using to get from the first to the second, second to third. Now, that is considered our common ratio. And common ratio is a ratio. So a key word in there is the word ratio. So common ratio is a ratio of successive terms in a geometric sequence. And we're going to call this the letter R. So that common difference was D, the letter D. Common ratio is R, the letter R. Now, whenever we deal with our common ratio, the answer is always a number. Always a number. So no matter what happens, common ratio is always a number. Okay, so I'm going to pull, go back to what we talked about with common, arithmetic sequence and series. And then we're going to go and talk about geometric. So we're going to pull back to refresh, remind ourselves. So with arithmetic sequence, we found the common difference by doing A2 minus A1. And then we also did A3 minus A2 to make sure that they gave you the same answer so that it was a common difference. Common difference. Now, when it comes to geometric, instead of us subtracting, we have to do a different thing. For geometric, we will find the common ratio by dividing. So not subtracting this time. Now we're dividing. So arithmetic is subtract. Geometric is divide. And again, if you can actually look at it, figure out what the common ratio is, then you don't have to do so much work. That's fine. You don't have to find this. As long as you can get to understand, you can look at it and tell. So to find our common ratio, originally we did a2 to minus a1. When it comes to our geometric sequence, we're going to do a2 divided by a1. And hopefully that will equal, hopefully, that's hopefully. Hopefully, it will equal the same thing as A3 divided by A2. 
Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, then, oh lord. Then that means it's not geometric, and then you can stop right there, because you have nothing to do. Unless you try that with you, um, arithmetic. So that's it. That's all you have to do with that. So we're going to actually go into looking at how to find a common ratio first, and then we're going to go ahead and do some other things with it. So let's go to find our, figure out how to find our common ratio.